Megan and today I wanted to share with you me and my family's experience at KCON New York 2018. We really had no idea what to expect from KCON. We really had no like perspective on what it would be other than a Korean convention in Newark, New Jersey. Um, so I thought this would be helpful for next year when you guys are planning on going or thinking about going to KCON. This is what I experienced in 2018 and just giving you an overview of what we did, what I thought about it, if we'll go back, and I went to the convention and the concert. We originally were not going to the concert, but I will explain how we eventually ended up at the concert and if you guys want to see our experience I will link my vlog down below because we did vlog the whole day and all the fun and all the stress because there was definitely stress in terms of getting the tickets but it was such a great time so Basically, I bought the tickets online for KCON 2018 New York, and um, you get a QR code that you can either print out or just have on your phone, and when you get there, you go through security, like a bag check area. They don't check for your ticket at the security checkpoint. Um, you can get to all the food vendors in this like one section of the street is just all the food vendors and you can access those without buying a ticket at all. You just have to go through bag check and security. But if you did buy a ticket and you want to access all the cool parts of the convention itself, you do need to wait in a massively long line to get a wristband. So even though you purchased a ticket online ahead of time, you still have to wait in a god-awful long line to get all the way to the like convention check-in area where either you can buy tickets if you didn't buy them already, or you can scan your QR code and they'll just give you a wristband. So Waiting in that long line definitely was not expected for the start of the day. I thought we would just be able to scan our ticket when we walked in and be good for the rest of the day, but it did take about 30 minutes to get through the full line, which it was a very long line. We thought it would take like an hour, but it was moving quickly, um, which was nice and surprising. So, um, then you get a little booklet, which I actually didn't even look at the whole time, but um, it goes over like the special guests, the um, schedule for each day, and it is like a two day event. So on Saturday, it shows you all the panels and all the things that are happening at the different um, areas. So there is artist engagement, which you pay extra for to meet the K-pop artists and K-pop bands that are going to be performing that night at the concert. Then they have the KCON stage, which is a performance stage that even if you don't buy a ticket for, you can see and hear because it's all outdoors. And that was surprising to me and my family because since it's at the Prudential Center, we thought it would be all inside in nice air conditioning with bathrooms and stuff. No, it is all outdoors other than the concert. So you have to like prepare for that. It thankfully did not rain yesterday, but we thought for sure it would because it was very cloudy. And if it was hot, it would have been miserable because everything was outdoors. So um, if you want to see like some different performers, they also had some of the K-pop groups come up on stage and do like panels and Q&As, um, which I didn't really like know the artists at that time so I knew maybe one of their songs or something but I wasn't really engaged in watching those um, like Q&As. Then they have two tents that are panel areas which is just like a conversation on different things based on either K-pop, K-beauty, Korean culture, food. It's very interesting and we didn't take advantage of any of the panels even though we wanted to because there was just so much else going on and we were honestly just like not looking at the schedule to see what was happening when. But if you do have a lot of time and you're going both days, you can definitely fit these panels into your schedule and get more information out of the experience. 
They also have a workshop tent where you can like make physical items. It's basically like a craft tent or it's like you're making something based on what the person is leading. So they had like um, how to make different dishes from Korean culture. They had um, how to like K-pop journalism 101 and like how to get started if you want to be a K-pop journalist, which I think is so cool. Um, and then something that we thought was really cool is that they had a dance workshop area so someone would get up on stage and teach the crowd how to do dances for certain k-pop um, music videos and to me k-pop dancing is one of the coolest things I've ever seen like in American culture I feel like we're not as into dancing anymore like our musical artists and bands and stuff don't really do a lot of dancing at least not that is so iconic with the song like the last thing I can think of is like Soldier Boy, <laughs> like where everyone knows the dance. But in K-pop, it seems like everyone knows the dances to these songs and it's just like amazing. So we actually parked with a view of the dance workshop. So at one point we were so tired and we just wanted to be in the air conditioning. So we sat in my dad's car and we just could watch the people in the dance workshop and it was so cool. They were dancing to the Pentagon song Shine. Oh my God, that song is amazing. So it was a lot of fun to watch. We didn't participate um, because I'll tell you all the stuff that we ended up doing, but that is some of the stuff that you can get up to either on Saturday or Sunday. And there also is a tent for fan clubs, which I'm not really sure how that works, but it's a whole tent. So if you're part of a fan club of one of these K-pop groups, I think that they have meetings in there or something. I'm not really sure. And there was like little photo op stations with like a blue carpet. There was places where you could write a letter to your favorite K-pop artist and put it in these like boxes. There was a board where you could like write in chalk, like a message. Um, but it was so full of messages that people were just writing on top of other people's and it was like a mess. Then, um, like I said, there is the food court area and that, oh, that was kind of a disaster to me. I was looking so forward to having some Korean food and there were some tents and then some food trucks and there was probably less than 10 food trucks and food stands in total and it just was not enough for the amount of people that were at this event. Every line was like an hour wait to get any food and a lot of the stands were running out of food. So you could be waiting in line for like 30 minutes or more and they run out of food and you just like wasted all that time and you don't even have food. So um, we ended up not waiting for food and we walked over to a nearby restaurant called Dinosaur Barbecue, which is right um when you check in it's right behind the check-in area and it has a huge sign that says dinosaur barbecue and it was delicious so i would really recommend going outside of the convention for food because we could sit down we could go to the bathroom wash our hands be in air conditioning like if you got food at the convention you had to sit on the curb or stand and the bathroom situation was just porta potties and they were disgusting and it was the worst part of my day to go to them so I really think that they would have really benefited from having access to the Prudential Center because it would have just been a lot more comfortable for the guests to be able to go inside and get some air and just be able to relax for a little bit inside and go to the bathroom and stuff. I don't really get why all the convention is outside unless you have concert tickets and if you do have concert tickets, I believe you were able to enter the Prudential Center early. Like if you had a general admission or if you had like platinum or diamond, there was like all these levels of the concert tickets. So if you had those, I did see people entering the Prudential Center throughout the day. So I think that might have been a perk to having like higher end concert tickets, but don't like count, <laughs> don't um, hold me to that because I'm not exactly sure how it worked. Then there was a section near the KCON um, stage where, so again, this is all outdoors, and it was all under this huge tent, and it was mostly vendors and sponsors. So um, you can see that this says presented by Toyota. So Toyota had a big stand. Um, there were so many other companies that were sponsoring this event, and I was more looking forward to shopping 
um, like for K beauty products, like stuff imported from Korea. So I was expecting like tables of vendors just like selling their goods, but it was more um, sponsors that had tents that were doing freebies and some things were available for purchase, but there wasn't really as much shopping as I thought it would be. It's more like tents of sponsors where you could wait in line, get a free sample, and that is what I'm going to go over all of the free swag that I got um, in this bag that you get when you check in. So you get this bag for free. It's really cute. It's just like a canvas bag and it says KCON 2018 and with their um, logo from this year. And um, you could just wait in line to get free samples or you could follow them on Instagram or tag a photo with them depending on the stand and then you get deluxe samples or like a bag of samples. So that is what all of this came from. So one of the first places I went to was the Amore Pacific tent and they had three brands represented. They had Laneige, Mamond, and Innisfree. I had never heard of Mamond before but Amore Pacific owns all of those brands. I was looking forward to getting Amore Pacific products but it was just these um, brands under their name. So they gave a goodie bag if you sign up with an email to get their emails and stuff and then they also gave like additional samples if you waited in line so I got two of the Laneige water sleeping masks which is one of their like classic products I also got a um, Mamond hydrating beauty water in rose which is like a toner I got two of those actually. How do I end up with that? I don't know. Um, my dad sometimes would wait in line and give me a sample, so probably from that. Um, at Innisfree, they gave us the intense hydrating sample in these packets, a Mamond petal purifying bubble mask in rose, the Innisfree um, enriched gel cream, Innisfree pore clearing clay mask, which I've tried before. And then they also gave this Innisfree um, like scratch off thing where you could get a free gift. And I thought that we could get the free gift at this event, but you have to go into their flagship store in New York City to get it, which I'll probably never really get there. Um, then they also gave a 15% off Laneige coupon the Innisfree pore clearing clay mask and intensive hydrating serum and then a Laneige lip sleeping mask sample like the littlest sample of all time but I love this stuff so that was awesome and Mamond also gave out these lollipops that look like roses because their thing is like rose infused products but I don't really like lollipops so I'm probably just gonna toss those but that came in a cute bag then I need to use this right now. My dad, while we were waiting for all these makeup products, went to scope out what other places um, were under the tent. And this brand, Olive Young, is a beauty brand that I never have heard of before, but he thought this looked like me a little bit. <laughs> so he got me this and it just felt so good to like fan ourselves throughout the day because even though it was cloudy it would get sunny at certain points and really really stuffy if the wind wasn't blowing and this jacket is not breathable so i am sweating up in here but this um place also gave out free little things the thing with all these freebies is that they didn't come free you had to sign up for their emails you had to um fill out surveys you had to follow them on instagram and prove it and my like data was going so slow there was like terrible service in this area because everyone was trying to use their phones and there was no wi-fi so my phone was going so slow i got so frustrated throughout the day because i was like i'm filling out your survey or i am following you on instagram but it's not loading so i can't prove it and you had to prove it but if you filled out a survey for Olive Young, you got a little token that you could put into this machine and like crank it, kind of like when you were a little kid and you would get like a bouncy ball out of a machine, but they had makeup in their machines. So um, that was, I thought, really, really cool. So I got the Thunderbolt um, Tint Lacquer, which is not in here. Where is it? I used it yesterday. I think it's in my pocket of the pants I was wearing. But it's just a really pretty like red 
orange tint and it's in the number three and it is just like so long wearing but not sticky it literally just is a beautiful tint for your lips but that came in this packaging and then this my dad got and it was amazing this is like the best gift you could ever have gotten it's a eyeshadow and it has a donut on the packaging and this is the hit pan shadow in number four and it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today and these are from the line color gram and so it's just like a basic brown color it's like the perfect color to get so um that's what I'm wearing today and I was just so glad that my dad would participate so that he could give me his free samples because we got some really good additional stuff because he would um and I just love this donut thing so that was at Olive Young and then if you posted a picture of yourself and tag them in it on Instagram, they would give you this set. And I wish our Wi-Fi would have been, or our data would have been working so we would have got more of these because this was such an amazing deal. So um, it came with four products and they're all really awesome. So the first thing they gave is a face halo. These are so, so awesome. And if you've never seen it, oh my gosh you guys these are pretty cool if you like to use makeup wipes but you find that they're super wasteful this is just a like microfiber circle that you wet and you rub it on your face when you're taking off your makeup and it removes all your makeup it's magic and then you can just wash these so i've purchased these before and this is probably like a 10 or 15 dollar value that they were giving out for free so that was awesome it came with a Bring Green Lemon Sheet Mask. And you guys know I love sheet masks. This is a um, pig nose pour um, strip mask. It's like a Biore pore strip, but it comes with three steps, which I think is really cool. And then finally, it came with the Dr. G Green Mild Up Sun SPF 50 Plus PA++++ four pluses which means that it's extra extra potent sunscreen and I thought this was an awesome size to try out so that was all just from posting on Instagram about them then there was this cute little stand called BB Go which was a food stand and they make um wontons so you stood in line and then they had this um spinny thing like a roulette type of um wheel and you would spin it and depending on what it landed on that's what you got so I got this really cute pen that has wontons on it and it's like their character I can't get it out right now but um I don't even care if the pen doesn't work it's really cute cute and then you got free wontons as well the one stand that did an amazing bag of giveaways was called the same and they had stuff for purchase but also were giving away these great gift bags if you follow them on instagram posted a picture of you at their stand with them tagged in it and you proved it to them they would give you this big goodie bag full of awesomeness and this was a stand that had um 17 the k-pop brand band 17 was their background and they had um cardboard cutouts of some of the um k-pop singers from 17 which was awesome because 17 is our favorite k-pop band so it came with a 17 sheet mask which is so awesome we love these boys so much they are our absolute favorite so that was really cool it also came with like a little postcard um of them so my sister will love that it came with the um cotton pads which are just like interesting cotton pads like they're not like anything i've ever seen before they're like a little puffy but a little flat i don't know we'll see always useful a few um like serums or essences more of those these are um emulsions and toners that's cool and then a lip gloss also came in this this is in pk02 it's by um it's by the siam but the line is eco soul glam luster lip gloss and i haven't even looked at this yet oh that's a very pretty color for the summer so that is awesome that's a full size so really cool to get that for free and then we ended up later going to their stand and made a purchase from them so my mom and i each got um this banana 
Fruits Punch Sleeping Pack, which is like a last step that you do before you go to bed that just like locks in all of the moisture and stuff. And I love this packaging. It's like a squeezy bottle. And then it it smells so amazingly like banana and it's like a gel to water consistency. It is so nice and just very, very lightweight and smells like bananas. And we also bought the um, SPF 50 PA++++ Eco Earth Power Blue Defense Sun Milk. So this is a really high SPF that is a really thin liquid. And we thought that would be awesome for the summer and for our beach trip coming up. And it literally is like a milk consistency, but it is so easy to blend in and it absorbs so easily and it doesn't leave a white cast. Like that is crazy. So we are very excited to use that and Korean sunscreens are known to be some of the best. And then they gave us another bag of stuff. So more of the cotton pads, more of like the serums and essences and like packets of stuff. These are like some different things, like some creams. And it came with another 17 mask, but my sister asked me for it. And then what I'm wearing on my lips today is actually the Eco Soul Moisture Shine Lipstick in number one. And it's just a really sheer um, pink lipstick. So it's like a nude pink. But I thought that was awesome to get for free and my mom got a I got a redder color that my mom really liked more so we just switched but these are really nice really like balmy but sheer and glossy and not sticky I really really love that lipstick so that was definitely fun and that is everything that I got from KCON that was like free and that I purchased and so basically after all of that we walked back to our car and I would really recommend if you go to KCON to first hit up all of the vendors because throughout the day they were running out of samples, they were changing their samples to smaller amounts like at Amore Pacific they gave that huge bag of stuff and then when we walked past again they were giving like one or two things. So you definitely should if you want to get these freebies go there first and just get all this stuff before um, they run out because it is really an amazing perk to get all this for free and to be able to try out different brands and different products if that's what you're into. Um, and I really wouldn't recommend waiting in line for the food. I would just say go and <laughs> get food in the, a nearby restaurant. But after we did all that, we were very, very exhausted and tired. So we just wanted to sit in my dad's car with the AC on. And that's when we decided to start looking for concert tickets because Rachel really wanted to go to see Red Velvet and we wanted to go as well, but we didn't want to like pay a really high price for it. So we basically waited until 5 p.m. to buy tickets off of StubHub where people are reselling their tickets if they weren't able to go or if they bought extras and people were drastically lowering their prices because the concert starts at 7.30 and the doors open at 6 p.m. So at 5 p.m. it's like desperation. So you're just like trying to sell them. So I was able to find pretty good seats on StubHub for a really great price. And I purchased them on my phone. Of course, we don't have like a printer or anything with us. Um, and earlier in the day, we went to the Prudential Center box office and asked them if we buy tickets on our phone do they need to be printed out or can they be scanned on the phone and they assured us they can be scanned on the phone but when I purchased the tickets they said on it must be printed on paper mobile tickets not allowed and I was like having a panic attack I was so freaking out so upset that we'd spent this money and now it says that we have to have them printed so we ran from my dad's card back to the box office and everyone was lining up at this point so it was so crowded around the Prudential Center like every single entrance was just like lines of people for as far as you could see and so we were like trying to get through all those people and we went back to the box office and we're like we bought these tickets and you said that <laughs> it could be shown on your phone but it says that they have to be printed and they were like don't worry they can be on your phone so 
The whole time we were waiting in line to enter the Prudential Center, I just had this dread and this stress and this horrible feeling that we would not be able to enter because it literally says on the ticket, must be printed on paper. And when we got through security and they are there to scan your concert ticket, my ticket wasn't scanning right. And I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Like, of course that had to happen. And the lady was so nice and she was like, I think it's just my machine, like go to the next guy. And so he scanned it and it was fine. So then I could go in and all my family got in as well. And then we could relax at that point. But even if you're at the Prudential Center and even if your ticket says, must be printed on paper they allow it on your phone so don't freak out if it says that because i don't know why they allow it but thank god that they did the concert was amazing i highly recommend it if you get to go to kcon to also buy a ticket to the concert you buy the convention ticket separately from the concert ticket so you can attend the convention and go to all the stands and stuff for around 20 dollars and that ends at 6 p.m and then the concert um doors open at 6 p.m. and then the concert starts at 7 30. So if you want to spend a little more money to see k-pop bands I would really recommend it. It was such a blast. They are amazing performers. The dancing is wild to see live because these groups are like uh, at least most of the boy groups are seven eight nine ten people and to have all that coordination and do all that choreography was so awesome and Rachel loved seeing Red Velvet live and I was I was just so happy to be there that I started crying during Red Velvet because it was just like all of the stress of getting the tickets and being there the whole day and being so tired but just being so thankful to see these artists that Rachel loves so much and for them to be from Korea and be here in America was so cool to be like, we're seeing them live, like that is crazy. So I was crying during that and it was just such a fun, emotional, exhausting, but awesome day and we will definitely go back next year in 2019 and I would really recommend going if you're at all interested in Korean beauty, Korean pop music, Korean culture, or food. It was just such a fun day, and the only thing that I would say is be prepared for any weather. It was very likely for it to have rained or to be super hot and we would not have been prepared because we didn't know it was outdoors. So I hope this helped you guys and maybe gave you a a uh, perspective on my experience at KCON because it was really positive and was really fun and I got to see one of my subscribers again there. We had met at the um, Coldplay concert uh, last year or two years ago and she was at this event as well so it was so nice to see her again and it was such a surprise as well. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped you guys if you're interested in going to KCON in the future and I really appreciate you guys spending your time watching today and I hope you have an awesome one. See you soon. Bye!